Good morning. It's 9 a.m. Friday, April 22nd, 2022. Welcome to The Good News, live at 9 on Facebook and available later on our YouTube channel. Please be sure to comment in the chat. This is a presentation of the Allen Park Presbyterian Church. Good morning, Sue, and happy Earth Day to you. Happy Earth Day to you, and also happy birthday. Oh, great. Pastor, <laughs> Pastor Tim brought that up yesterday. I was hoping no one was paying attention, but that's not the case, and thank you very much. So I am Carrie Van, and um, I work at the church, and I'm I... Uh, and Maxie. I'm an elder at the church. Yes. I should, I'd be remiss to say that I'm a deacon at the church, so we'll, we'll try to outdo each other, right? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Today, I'm um, very excited because we are going to be interviewing Detective Jim Thorburn. He is a detective and on the Allen Park Police Department, at the Allen Park Police Department, and he also runs their Facebook page. And they have over You're 20. You're all about that, aren't you? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying not to be a weird fangirl, but I'm like so excited. This is like the best birthday present ever. <laughs> they have over 21,000 followers. Wow. And I, ab wow. I absolutely love what he does with that page. But we're here to not only talk about that, but to talk about an exciting fundraiser that they have going on this Sunday. So we'll talk more about that. Yeah. Hi, Barbara Wolf. She, he is so funny. Morning, Judy Sutherland, Judy Hatch, Kevin Vaughn, Barry and Margo, Andrea Seabloom, Norma Batley. I just saw you last night. Thanks, Margo and, and Barry. So let's get to our announcements really quick, Sue. And then where, where are my announcements? Oh, we have to mention, Deanna said we have to mention, don't forget, the um, farmer's, farmer's market. market. Yes, yep. today yep. from three to seven across from the church. Uh, Church-wise, um, did you want to mention the PW gatherings? Yes, so? uh, Presbyterian women are gathering next Tuesday, the 26th, in person in the church parlor. And the program <laughs> will include future missions, craft fair, donations, and more. So I hope to see all women who are interested in person in the church parlor at 7 p.m., on Tuesday, April 26th. All right, that sounds great. Um, we don't have a whole lot of news at the church because it's the week after Easter and most of us are like still exhausted. Um, but we do, <laughs> yes, we, we did, um, we do have memorial scholarship applications available either through email or contact read in the office or stop by. So you don't want to miss out on that. Hi, Wade and Patrick. Good morning, Judy Martin. So let, um, I don't want to wait any longer. Let's get Detective Thorburn in here. I know, you're wait. so excited, I know. I'm so excited. All right, here we go. Let's admit him. All right. Good morning, Detective Thorburn. He's connecting to audio. There we go. Can you hear us and can we hear you? Let's give him a second to get organized. It looks like he's a base. There we go. I'm back. Yay. Hey. Just a little technical difficulties there. Had to That's tweak okay. some things on the That's intro. Okay. That's okay, because Sue and I have those kind of problems all the time. And oh, we're, yeah. we're, <laughs> we're getting used to them. We need a whole crew behind us. Um, welcome, Detective Jim Thorburn. I'm um, going to try to not act like a weird fangirl today because <laughs> I'm a huge fan of your work on the Allen Park Police Department Facebook page. Well, thank you. And I've been following you for a long time. I love your sense of humor and the well, fact good. that you have over 21,000 followers. So I'm going to try to not be too crazy about that. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. <laughs> but I'm thankful that anybody follows us. So that's the perk. Yeah. Yes. It's I, I think your following has has created a sense of community in the Down River and even beyond Down River for all police departments to 
interact with the community and it's really turned out to be a great, great way to do so. Well, I appreciate it. I mean, I, I really think that you should have fun with the people that afford you the lifestyle that you want and can pay your bills. So um, connecting with them and not just being an occupying force in the in the city is very important to me. You know, um, we all have first names and I'm not just an officer. That'd be weird. Um, Jim is my first name. So that's what we, that's been my goal is to have fun with our community because I like working here um, and I have for the last 27 years. That's awesome. Oh, fantastic. So I, I was reading the Detroit Free Press article this morning. Um, they did a great you know, job with that. Yes, they did. And they uh, getting a lot of um, promotion on this event, uh, which is your second event. The first one, in case anybody remembers, hi, Sandy Sauerbeck. Um, Barbara Wolf said, yes, absolutely. He brings us together. Um, your first event was a fluke. I think you guys were kind of like um, poking some fun at, at the Woodhaven Police Department, and that turned into that whole big sledding event. Well, I mean, that was because the, the individual that runs the Woodhaven page lives in Allen Park, and he's a good friend of mine, and it had snowed off that day. Remember, we had those weird three snow days, and um, <clears throat> he just put a picture up on their hill and said, Allen Park, when are you ready? Just t tongue in cheek, just kind of messing around. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, that was like at 2 o'clock on, a say, a Tuesday, and then uh, uh, the Beer Haven donated a catered launched to the winning department and then from then it spun out of control to it's like six o'clock that night i'm trying to find tubes for us woodhaven and brownstown and like one of the department and then by nine o'clock i had like 10 departments then we here we are the day of the event we have 19 departments show up on that day as well as like a thousand people so it was a total yeah. i mean you know it was a perfect storm literally because there was a snowstorm and kids couldn't go to school and parents were um, probably tired dealing with their kids and why not better send them out with the police or at least safe there, right? Absolutely. That was a wonderful event. And I know a lot of money was earned for charity and a lot of people felt a sense of community by, by jumping on board and helping out. So fantastic. That was great. So well, how, did you, how did you come up with this idea? And let's tell everybody what's going to happen and where they can go to watch this contest. Well, I mean, actually... Uh... I'm, I'm friends, you know, it's weird that a cop has a donut friend. I know. Um, but probably three years ago, um, Stuart and I, who owns Sugar Donuts, who are the uh, basically the sponsors of this event, um, we had the idea. He said, you know, let's have a donut eating contest um, between you and Wyandotte. I'm like, oh, OK. But the times, the atmosphere, it was kind of an anti-police time back then. Um, I said, you know what? It's not really it's kind of tone deaf at the point that people aren't it's just not not the right moment for it i didn't i didn't feel it was the appropriate time for such a thing and then of course we had two years of covid and um so really couldn't do any gatherings or anything that anything to that effect so um you know recently he approached me he said hey let's do this and i'm on the board with uh, mimi's mission and she said hey we're looking for charitable events i'm like well I, we could probably build these two things together you know, we need a charity. You know, I mean, I enjoy doing community events and to build a community event and then raise money at the same time like we did for sledding. It's a win win for everybody, as well as it's Autism Awareness Month and to, um, you know, bring awareness to that and raise money and build community. It's, it's a trifecta of fun and uh, winning. Yeah, that. Wow. So this just didn't come up. This has been in your mind for quite some time now. Right. I, I just need to. I, I need the right atmosphere, the right temperature of society to do it. And um, I think we're kind of there now, hopefully, and hopefully we stay there because it's not a lot of, uh, I mean, there was times where police did some things that weren't correct. And, you know, uh, it was just a very, not, not, it wasn't a great time to be a cop for a while. Yeah. I, I'm really glad that the climate and, the, and things have changed and we're getting, you know, hopefully to the end of COVID and we're able to get together more and, it's a great track to be on. Right, for sure. You know, I mean, it makes your job a heck of a lot easier when people are, you know, not um, creating havoc everywhere you go. Um, so, I mean, and it's, plus it's going to be fun. It's supposed to be 80 degrees on Sunday. Again, I'm getting lucky with weather. Um, must be the dance that I do, maybe. I don't know. It could be that. <laughs> you know. 
we have a preschool. They probably would love it if you could do a rain dance so they could get, or a snow dance so they could get a snow day once in a while, right? Yeah, yeah. So those are, yeah, those are a thing of the past kind of now, but. Uh, right, hey. yeah, no, actually, exactly, because these, you do virtual learning, so they kind of messed that up for everybody, didn't they? <laughs> yes, they, yes, they did, yes, they did. So I did not realize that you were on the board of Mimi's Mission. I know her really well, and she is just a force to be reckoned with. Um, very driven. Know, very driven. Very driven. Right. Um, you guys were on board with the 911 bags. Uh, that that is was a great, a right. great thing to adopt as well. <laughs> Do you want to talk about that just for a few seconds and then we'll talk yeah, more about sure. the event? Well, for sure. I mean, um, with that, I mean, it gives officers, I mean, um, the kind of the forgotten community is autistic, you know, is the autism community. And basically, I mean, give the officers a tool because many officers have not dealt with an autistic individual and you have to treat autistic people a little bit different. And, you know, you have to be kind of a different cop and to giving you the tools of how to handle the situation better is a win for you. It's a win for the family. It's a win for the individual and it's a win for the department, as opposed to having a scene get out of control because you didn't handle it the right way because you didn't know how to, and you didn't have the tools to. And with Mimi's mission, it gives the officers the training and the tools to handle the situation efficiently and to the best way possible so you can avoid a tragic or unfortunate situation where everybody comes away unhappy with each other. Yeah, that's what a fantastic and wonderful idea. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, we're appreciative of all the departments that, that have jumped on board with that. That's wonderful. So I know there was there's some confusion. How many law enforcement agencies do you have participating in this event on Sunday? Right now, the final list I have is 22. Well, 21 with 22 total with Allen Park included. Um, we have all the way from Ann Arbor PD to Van Buren to D Detroit uh, Detroit Homicide Detroit Regular Police Department Grozeal. They're getting out of off the island there, which is a big thing for them. They never do anything. Um, it's a plus. <laughs> Um, we even got the drug enforcement agency, um, showing up. Um, so even all, all the way out to Northville township. So we got some wow. fancy donuts for them. I'm sure we need the fancy ones for Northville township, but we got everybody <laughs> showing up. I mean, I mean, Metro Detroit is really showing up, which is awesome. Yes, I, I agree. So the event is called cops and pastries and yeah, it's, it's going to Right. It's a fancy event. I, I want to use a 10 cent word instead of cops and donuts. You know, it's a, it's a fine eating right. event, you know. <laughs> right. So I, I was reading in the in the Detroit Free Press article. So on the stage at any given time will be four officers and four coaches. Right. Is, well, is I mean, that work? I mean, I it's funny because I'm, I'm sure a lot of police departments aren't aware of that fact right there. There's only going to be one eater because when we initially when I initially had put it out, it was going to be two people eating. But if we have two people from each department at 22 departments, that would bankrupt sugar donuts. Yes. And I couldn't do that to them. So I, I, I had to pair it back and they can choose. But also if, if there was two officers showing up and if it was only one officer and they couldn't go, then the whole department couldn't go. So I was kind of hedging my bets that at least out of two, one would show up, but only one can eat. And um, so, yeah, so basically you're only competing against yourself. It's a timed event. So it's four officers at any one at a time on a stage, whoever mm -hmm. eats the best time out of those 12, that's your time. And whatever time is the best for all of our heats, then becomes the winner. Wow. So, and there's a limit, like, is it 12 donuts per, per contest? Like you have a chance it's, to eat 12 donuts? Yeah. I mean, you only have to eat 12 donuts once. I couldn't keep making people eat 10, 12 donuts. You know, you, you know, yes. we're only human. Um, yes. And so. Put them into um, a sugar I, coma. <laughs> Right. You know, and you don't like that on an old Stand By Me movie where they, they had that uh, pie eating contest and the, the contestants were barfing on everybody. Um, we didn't want that to happen either. So, yes. um, uh, you know, it's just 12 donuts. It's, it's time. I kind of looked around the country to see rules for this and there's different rules. That's kind of the, the foundation is just a timed event of how many you can eat in that time frame. OK, fantastic. Well, we didn't answer the most basic questions. Barbara Wolf said, where is this happening and can we attend? <laughs> yes, it is, a, it is a free event. And it, yeah. is happening, it is happening at the Allen Park Center for Performing Arts, which is with the high school, right? Yeah, it, it, 
that's attached to the high school. It's like 19001 Champagne. It's the building closer to Pelham attached to the high school, the big fine art center. Okay. I'll type the address. How is it going to be in the in the center or outside? Well, actually, in so basically, I, I have a twofer. Well, um, I have the lot next to there immediately adjacent to the building. I'm going to have all the police cars lined up so everybody can see police cars from Metro Detroit all in one place, which is I don't think it's ever been done before. Maybe it has, not to my knowledge. And then the event itself will take place inside because Michigan's weather, I couldn't dictate. It very well may have snowed to Sunday, you know? Right. Right. So the public is welcome to come. It's an indoor event with the opportunity to... Um, to see all the different um, law enforcement vehicles from all of these departments, that in itself is, is an exciting thing to do. And then um, please support Sugar Donuts. They will be there. And they have, they're sponsoring this event by uh, all of these, uh, supplying all of these donuts. Um, there's also a food truck. It's a great food truck from Buffy's, right? Yes, Buffy's. And, and she's donating a portion of all sales to uh, Mimi's mission that day. Right. So try her food truck out. There's going to be balloons, face painting. It's going to be an absolutely awesome event. There's um, also going to be a there will be a coffee hot chocolate truck. My thing is coffee. I love coffee. They were at our sledding event. They're very awesome. They have really good stuff. And you can't really have donuts without coffee. So they're going to be there as well. Right. Someone wanted to know where sugar donuts and I know it's spelled S-U-G-A-R-R, -R, correct? Correct. And they yep. are in Wyandotte? No, they're in Woodhaven now. They're at okay. 19115 West Road. Okay. 19115 West Road. I'll type that in the chat for us. Please support. And what time is it on Sunday? Two o'clock is... Two o'clock, we, we kind of get things rolling. Um, and then maybe about 2.30, I'll start the eating contest. Because that's not going to take a whole lot of time, honestly. It's eight minutes around. And so, you know, we want to have fun with the whole, you know, make a couple-hour event. So um, I know that Downriver SWAT is going to bring their SWAT vehicle. The DEA is going to break out their tactical vehicle, which nobody ever sees. Wow. Um, um, which is actually kind of a cool thing for them to do that. Um and uh, it's going to be covered by all three stations to be there as well. Media stations, media outlets. Right. So it's two o'clock, Elm Park High School. Uh, please don't park where the police vehicles are, are parking. Um, you're welcome to walk around. Um, I'm assuming going in and out of the building to watch the contest, cheering on your favorite uh, police department and uh, get your face painted, support. The coffee. Actually, oh, we didn't. Yeah, we didn't finish talking about the coffee. They're an organic coffee food truck, and they're one of your favorites, right? Because I've seen you post about them. Yeah, it's. I can't say their name. Kikoa, maybe Kikoa yeah, Coffee. Kikoa Brew Company. Yeah, their coffee. Yeah, they have a great story too. A really great story. I don't know their story. I just know their coffee. It's delicious. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to try it. I've not tried them. I'm all about organic, so I cannot wait to try their coffee. But I know it's a food truck. It's a mobile coffee food truck that, that you right. can have for events. So we have Baxi, uh, Buffy's, Maxi. I should probably type them in there, too, so everybody knows. Please support. Their food is super good, too. And she's from Allen Park, so it makes it even better. Yeah, she is awesome. Her and her husband are great. And then we need to mention the face painting because I believe they are donating all of their proceeds to Mimi. Well, actually, no, Bella's Granite and right. Southgate, they're kind of like co-sponsor. I mean, they, they're kind of hooking us up. They're paying for the face painter so the money doesn't have to come out of Mimi's mission to pay for that because okay. face painters are actually way more expensive than I ever imagined they could be. And so Bella's Granite and Southgate, they're going to pay for a face painter and they have all kinds of giveaways as well, too that day they're gonna have a table set up inside okay our other now, business is gonna have tables as well i mean anybody wants to set a table up a small business there's a couple salons i think gonna set up tables i didn't get a big response on that but i kind of was hoping for like a you know, small business community event for everybody to get their name and some recognition out there um that's kind of what i hoped um we got a few people but bellas will be there and Stewart's gonna be selling sugar donuts inside as well to try and maybe recoup some of his loss out of, out of a sunday 
Is, is yes. there a cost to the having the table there for businesses? Absolutely. It's free. <laughs> <laughs> Great cost. Okay. So yes. we kind of, the business community, is it, is it too late to, to ask for a table? Um, I have or? probably three tables available. So if, if there's three people want to send me an email to my uh, work email, I think Carrie can put that up there. It's jthorburn at allenparkpolice.org. Um, and I can, uh, you know, the first three people to get a hold of me, I'll save them a table. All right. Um, I was also reading something about that the 911 ready bags that are going to be used by the fire police and EMS when all other law enforcement agencies when they encounter an autistic child or an adult. Um, and it says something about that they're going to be available as well. For, like my, my daughter's a teacher. So um, teachers would be able to use these bags as well. Is that correct? Um, I, I believe so. I'm, I'm not sure if, if uh, Lisa's going to bring those or not. I hadn't heard that part of it yet. I've been, just been focusing on, on the other other moving parts of this whole thing. Um, she very well may. Um, I don't know that for sure, though, so I can't speak accurately on that. But there will be information about autism and organizations and that kind of stuff there as well? Or? Yes. Yeah, there will be. Yep. Okay. So for the awareness part of it. <laughs> Yes. Right. Absolutely. And then I saw a picture of the trophy. I the trophy is gorgeous. Wait a minute. Check this All right. Out. Wait. Wait. Everybody, look. Check it out. There it is. It is so <laughs> cool. There's oh, a wait. hand. Wait. Oh, What's we have the a runner up. Okay. So we do <laughs> have a runner up. Okay. We do have a runner up for we don't we uh, the second first place. How about that? Okay. <laughs> great. I, I love that first place trophy. It's got the handcuff going through the donut and into the coffee. That is so clever. There we go. How about there? There we go. Yep. There yes. we go. Actually, a real pair of handcuffs. Yeah, that is great. Lisa got this uh, made. I'm not sure where her devious mind finds such things, but she did. And it's actually pretty awesome because the donut's actually soft. It feels like a real donut. It's actually crazy. It actually <laughs> looks, yeah. So coffee it looks cups cool. Right, but what's in there? There's nothing. The coffee is fake, right? Because I was wondering that. No, I have to be careful. I have to hold it like this. That's fake coffee. Just <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Um, yeah, Lisa. Lisa knows the best vendors. If you ever need a vendor, all you have to do is ask Lisa. She is absolutely fantastic. She she knows all the best people to get anything. Uh, one of our viewers said an annual event. Ken Woods, absolutely. If it's if it goes well, why not? Somebody's going to want to come back and win next year, right? Right. Well, the sledding event plans to be annual, and yeah. so this would be too. Hopefully, I mean, the sledding was a lot of fun, and uh, this, I mean, we kind of we stuck we formed a partnership because I have good friends at both Brownstown and Woodhaven, and um, so we kind of formed a partnership called Cops and Community. Um, Lisa named that one. Good job on her. She's good with the names. Yes. And so, what Cops and Community? We plan on doing one event every season. Um, and so, like, obviously the sledding was winter. This will be the spring event. And a summertime one, we're still working on that. Just to, just something to benefit a charity as well as to bring, you know, to bridge that gap between communities and police and just have a better, just a fun time with the people you work and live with. Yeah, I, I think it's, I, it makes me feel really happy for all the law enforcement officers because, you know, it's a stressful job. And I think to be out in the community in a positive way and doing something fun, especially this, like, you know, like cops and donuts. I mean, it's, that's really funny. Stereotype. You know, eh? yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like facing this something head on. And I think it's just really great to be able to do something in the community and to be a positive event. So, well, I mean, you know, we always do our cop on the block meetings, you know, and those will be starting up here probably in May. I'll start those up again. Are you aware of those, Carrie? Yes, I am. Um, you okay. pick, you I'm not. I'd yes. like to hear more. Yeah, she lives in a different city. I do. Oh, that's unfortunate for you. Your yes. police department isn't as awesome. Um, yes, but they pick, they pick city blocks and, and come out and um, I don't know, what, what do you guys do when you do that? Because I also live in well, a different city. Well, I mean, city. you can have community meetings at the, like the police department, but we used to have a really scary police department. It was leaking and it wasn't much fun to go to. And if you have those meetings, like the same eight or nine weird people that show up to everything, show up to those, and you're really not getting your message out there. It's not really as well. It's not as um, efficient as it could be. So I went to a public information officer school some time ago, which that's the liaison between the media and the police. 
and they had the concept idea to block off a city block and have the meeting. Well, I didn't want to keep people hostage. So basically, I used, I used our Facebook, our social media reach to see who wanted to have a meeting, which that's important. And then I have flyers made up because not everybody has social media or the intro webs. So I had them pass out flyers to each house because then you get to know your neighbors as well because not a lot of people know their neighbors anymore, which is unfortunate. True. And uh, then we show up and we have, you know, block off each end of the street. People can still get to and from. And we have a little crime prevention meeting and then just a little chat. You know, people bring in the, in the fall. I, I like it better in the fall because people bring cider and donuts. It becomes like a block party, but with the police. And, nice. um, you know, we answer a lot of questions that, you know, and I dispel a lot of rumors and myths, myths that happen, you know, or, you know, Allen Park police are always on Southfield as opposed to the neighborhoods. I kind of fix things like that. I, 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 I like to put the record straight as opposed to uh, having things that just they perpetuate themselves of urban legends that aren't true. And I kind of fix some things, too. Yeah, that's our, our pastor is like that. He's very transparent because it's better to say what's really going on than to let people's imaginations run wild. Well, it, it, like I say, it, like when I do media, it's better for me to give the story than the media to try and figure out themselves because it's never going to be right. So it's better they get the word from us. Yeah, absolutely. Some of your posts, I, I just, I, I can't not laugh because you lock up, turn your light, turn, turn your lights on. We don't want people in our, what do you call it, your bed and breakfast or your RB&B? Yeah, the yeah, APPD bed and breakfast. Yes. <laughs> like another 10 cent term for a jail, right? Yes. Um, one of our viewers said, thank you, Officer Thorberg, for putting this together. And thanks to all involved. We really appreciate all that you do to keep us safe. Well, I, I appreciate having a community that supports us. And to me, that's the most important thing is having people that actually waved you with an entire hand, not just with one finger. And um, it's, it's very, it's nice to live in a community that supports their police department. And that's, we're very fortunate and we don't take that for granted. All right. Well, we appreciate you as well. And for keeping the community laughing and aware and safe. Um, before we let you go, uh, let's just say what we're doing one more time. Cops and pastries. It's a donut eating contest to benefit Minnie's mission. Um, 22 law enforcement agencies from across the area. It's going to take place at the Allen Park Center for Performing Arts. 19, I think there's a type on here. 19001. Yep. Champagne and Allen Park. You'll have an opportunity um, to see the police officer or the, you know, the vehicles, face painting, balloons. There's food, there's coffee. And you might not, Carrie, you might not even need the address. Just look for the police cars. Yeah. Yeah. I've, <laughs> right. yeah I've, You'll figure it out. Gonna be, yeah. It's going to be hard to, to overlook. And then we're going to get those comments and you won't be there to answer. Why are all the police at the high school? <laughs> oh yeah. It's going to be that. Is something going on? Is there some type of a tragedy? No, it's a Sunday. Yeah. And you know, I, I can't put it out any more than I have. So good Lord. I know you. You've done a great job, and we, well, thank you. we hope we hope we've helped a little bit. We're going to share this all around. People will watch us later in the day. Um, not everyone's available at this time. Right. Again, it's it's really an honor to to get to meet you. I've always wondered. I just wanted to like meet you to see what you were like in person because you're all so all the misspellings and bad grammar. You want to see who does that? That's me right here. This yeah, guy. Yeah, that, that, that's okay. <laughs> One last question. I'd be remiss if I didn't ask this. My friend Judy Martin is watching. Have you ever been the recipient of any cookies, cupcakes, or cakes from Allen Park Presbyterian Church? We try to hit you guys up as much as possible. Yes, we have. All right, good. Yes, yeah. and we appreciate that. Yes, we love doing that. We we always try to do the police and the fire a couple times. You know, well, you don't have to do the fire. Come on now. Let's not get crazy with this. Those the hose draggers, they can just stay out of it. We don't need those guys around. Yes, we know Jeff O'Reilly though, so we, we have to be fair. Just we have to be no, fair. No, no, right? you don't have to be fair with those guys. Don't worry about them. They're fine. Now, how do you how do you feel it would have went had you invited fire departments as well? Maybe that's for another um, case off. Well, I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, that's a whole different ball. I mean, they kind of slaughtered us in uh, softball. So we really want them beating us at another <laughs> event. I mean, come on. There, 
There you go. There you go. Okay. Well, you never know. Well, yeah, we don't want to put sugar donuts out of business. So please, yeah. everyone, <laughs> everyone who's watching, please keep going to sugar donuts for but the also, next week. Also support Mimi's mission too. Yes. And we do. And I love Lisa and um, she is a Actually, great. Actually, Carrie, here's, I'm going to have these right. The, hang on. Do you see those? Yes. Those are going to be posted outside the auditorium. Okay. So people can throw money in those too. All right, so we can you can just put money in the boot. Yep. And that money in the boot. Money in the boot. So that's an easy thing to do. So bring some cash. Uh, one of our viewers is laughing. Kevin Vaughn says hose draggers, and he was, he was laughing. Ha ha ha. <laughs> yes. The stitch active is very funny, Kevin. He's wonderful. So. Well, thank you hopefully, guys. Hopefully the fire department's not watching, but uh, maybe they're. <laughs> uh, they're well, hopefully they are. Knows what they're doing. <laughs> All right. Well, we can't thank you enough. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I hope a lot of people come out and yes. I hope this event raises a lot of money and awareness. If you see my audience. background, that's the auditorium. If you, if oh, every great. one of those seats is filled, that'd be incredible. And again, it's a free event. You can go in and out yeah. right at will. You can come and sit, you can go in and out, you can do different things. You can buy yep. coffee. Um, please buy donuts. We're, we can't say that enough. And, right, for sure. Uh, so thanks again for being with us. I'm, it, it's wonderful to have you. And thank you for all you do. We appreciate you very much. And you're the very nice to meet you. And I thank thanks for having me on, you guys. I appreciate it. I have to walk over to court now because I have court. Oh, oh no. All right. Well, thank you. Hopefully court will not be as entertaining as this, but we wish you um, yeah. have a great day. Well, all we'll right, see guys. you on Sunday. Thank you. Take care. Hope to see everybody. All bye right. Bye. bye. Take care. All right. That was exciting. What a what a yeah. great what a great event. And I will, whoever's watching, I will definitely post um, the graphics, the flyers, and everything in our Facebook group. We'll share this around. It's a great fun thing to do. Just seeing all the vehicles alone, Sue. I mean, there's going to yeah. be some exciting. Cool. Yes, there's going to be some yeah. and yeah. it would help if, if you know the people that are watching if they shared it on their Facebook page. That would help. Yes, it would help immensely if, when you're done watching this, if you could share this to your friends. That really helps um, push this around for us. And as this is a great event, it's for charity, and it's something fun to do. Raise awareness for autism, and if right. anyone know someone with autism um it you have to deal with them a little bit different you have to talk with them a little bit differently and um so being aware of that is is uh, is awesome i'm glad that the police are you know doing this and mimi's mission so yes um yeah mimi's okay. mission um they have done a great job with everything that they throw that they that they get behind yeah. so we will support her we'll um support our local law enforcement agencies and hopefully we'll all um barry and margo said go grow zeal yes <laughs> they get off the island Woo <laughs> <laughs> he's so funny he's great yeah so sue i don't know if um i got so involved with this interview um who are our guests next friday um next friday will be fran babbage and cheryl herman from the allen park kiwanis i am very much of course i know cheryl herman and love her yeah. and i'm really looking forward to meeting fran babbage Me too. i've um, seen her name and probably done things with her but I've never had a chance to actually talk to her. So I'm excited to find out what the, um, thanks Judy Martin, what a fun interview. Um, I'm looking forward to see what the Kiwanis is up to and how we can support them. Absolutely. So, well, our time is up. We don't want to babble too much more. So um, I do have some great advice for all of us about taking one day at a time. It's from Matthew. Matthew tells us, do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. And that's found in Matthew chapter 6, verse 34. And remember, happy Earth Day, friends. And remember, you are a beloved child of God. And God loves you. And so do we. And so do we. Have a great day and see you on Sunday somewhere in Allen Park yes. Church.
and the high school. Bye, everyone. Bye.